Welcome to my handstand push-up sample workout. This is a workout that's inspired by my handstand push-up program. And it's a strength-focused workout, really focusing on building the foundation of strength and technique that you're gonna need for your handstand push-up. And the good thing about this workout is if you're capable of doing this workout, if you can successfully complete this workout, then you're ready to start my handstand push-up program. It's not a program that's only for advanced athletes. This program is for anyone looking to build and develop their overhead pushing strength. We're gonna begin our warm up with breathing. So just start by taking a few deep breaths. And then we're gonna include our shoulders and our chest a little more in this movement. So as you inhale, rotate your hands out, lift your chest up. And exhale, coming back to a neutral position. Inhale. And exhale. We're gonna move on to some arm circles. So I might hit the ceiling with mine, but reaching up as high as you can overhead, making as big circles as you can. And be very mindful when you're doing these. You know, if you're doing it with bent arms, then you're gonna have, struggle to have straight arms when you do your handstand. Focus on using the form that you wanna use in the skills you're gonna be doing. So notice also, I'm keeping my ribs down. I'm not letting this come up. So I'm going as far as I can with that ribs down position. That's a very important position for your handstands. So if you're in a space with a low ceiling like mine, you can do this kneeling. And we'll go reversed. So we're gonna move on and warm up our wrists now. So coming down onto the floor, I'm gonna think about your hands being about shoulder width apart, fingers spread fairly wide. And all we're gonna to do to begin with is rock gently back and forward. Now the one thing I want you to be aware of, mindful of while you're doing this, is the heel of your hand is gonna be staying down on the floor. So you don't wanna be rocking so far that your hands are kind of coming off the floor like this. You wanna keep that contact at the heel of your hand on the floor. As you're coming back, I want you to keep feeling that, uh, that knuckle area. So this area where the calluses is, okay? I want you to feel that in contact with the floor. And as you start to get a little warmed up, we're gonna make this a little more active. So we're gonna lean forward, then we're gonna push with our fingers, okay? So you're pushing your fingers, you're gonna push with this callus area and kind of drive yourself back. And then we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna pull with our fingers, pull with these muscles here and pull ourselves forward. So now we've got this active push back, pull forward. Good. And turn your fingers out to the side. You're gonna push down. And now, same thing, pushing side to side. So we've got that active component going on in your hands. And this helps build some of that strength that we need upside down. Good, we're gonna move on to the last one. You're gonna turn your fingers to point your, towards your knees. So my hands are quite far out from my knees. You might find it more comfortable to bring your hands a little closer. Okay, it'll be a little less intense of a stretch here. So wherever you're comfortable with your hands and then you're gonna sit back 
Again, make sure the heel of your hand stays on the floor. If you're pushing that into the floor. And then again, push with your fingers to bring yourself forward. Pull yourself back. And you just got that gentle push and pull. Good. And bring your hands off the floor. We're going to move into a couple of things that are really important for your handstand push up, and that's going to be the position of your shoulders, okay? So the most important thing when you're doing all your handstand push-up training is how you, the position that your shoulders are in and the way that your arms are bending. Um, and we're just gonna start with that with our hands on the floor um, in this hands and knees position. So what I want you to think about is screwing your hands into the floor, okay? As if you've got two pickle jars here, you're trying to unscrew them, okay? So my hands are on the floor and I'm gonna push down so my hands are not actually turning, but I'm screwing my hands into the floor. And notice what that does. What sensations are you feeling through the rest of your arm, around your shoulder, okay? What do you feel when you do that push down and rotate, screwing your hands into the floor, okay? Hopefully you're feeling some engagement through the forearm, okay? Hopefully you're feeling Okay, some muscles turning on and starting to work here. Okay, your shoulder blades are kind of coming around into this like almost packed position. Okay, so you're screwing into the floor. So this is really important. We'll do a few more times. Hands here, screw into the floor. And you'll notice my elbow pits rotate forward. But this happens as a consequence of that screwing into the floor, okay? It's all connected, right? Your forearms, your wrists, your forearms, your shoulders, your shoulder blades, everything through this line. So what we're gonna do now, so we've got that screw our hands into the floor, we've got our toes tucked under, okay? And now I'm gonna push up my butt up in the air. And notice whether you start to lose that shoulder position. So there, notice my armpit started rotating out. So I want to see, screwing my hands into the floor, packing my shoulders, as I push back, can I maintain that position? Okay, notice I'm a little more restricted now. So notice how that felt for you. Notice if you could maintain that position. Before we move on to the conditioning work, we're gonna do a little stretch to hopefully improve that position and therefore improve it for all the strength exercises that you're gonna be doing. So I have a bench here. Um, you could perfectly do this on a chair with a cushion on it, a sofa, um, anything that's around this height. Um, and you're gonna need a stick. Again, I have a, a nice short stick here. You could have a longer broomstick hockey stick, anything that you can hold on to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the stick in this reverse grip. So we're holding in this reverse grip and you want your arms wide enough, okay, that when you bend your elbows, okay, you're in that externally rotated shoulder position. So that same shoulder position that you're feeling when you screw your hands into the floor, okay? If I let my elbows come out here, uh, or hold the stick too close together, then I'm not getting that same rotation. So I wanna hold the stick here, and I wanna think about my elbows being closer than my hands. So I'm gonna place my elbows up on the bench, and then I'm just gonna sit back, and I want the stretch to be through here. I don't wanna be using my back, so I'm maintaining a nice straight position here, and lengthening by sitting back. So let's just take a look. So my elbows are closer than my hands. I'm here and I'm just sitting back, okay? I'm not letting my back drop, okay? I'm letting my butt go towards the wall behind me. So elbows as bent to your own comfort level, 
We're just gonna hold this for about 30 seconds. Okay, after 30 seconds, you're gonna drive your elbows down into the bench. So you're pushing down with your elbows as hard as you can, engaging all these same muscles that you were previously stretching. You're now contracting and pushing into the bench. Do that for 10 seconds. We freeze, we relax, and we sit back deeper into the stretch. Once we're here, we're going to hold for another 30 seconds. Again, think about lengthening, getting your butt as close to the wall behind you. And feel that stretch around your shoulder. Okay, one more time, we're gonna push our elbows down into the bench. This is why if you're using something harder like a chair, you might want a cushion on there. Unless you're wearing elbow pads, it's an alternative. Okay, freeze, let those muscles relax and see if you can sink further into the stretch. One more time, we'll hold for 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, we'll come out and then we're gonna retest that same position. Okay, so let's see how that stretch has improved our position. So hands on the floor, feet tucked under. We're gonna screw our hands into the floor. Feel all that stuff going on around your shoulder. Try and maintain that as you push your butt up in the air. And that feels a lot more comfortable for me. So hopefully you experience something similar there and you're now able to get in a better position. So we're gonna move on and we're gonna do our first superset of our conditioning. So before we do this, I want you to do a little test. So you're gonna use this assessment to decide which exercise you're gonna do for your workout. So there's three variations and all I want you to do is one rep or attempt one rep of each variation. And based on that one rep, you're gonna decide which exercise you're gonna use for the workout. Now, I want you to choose one where one rep does not feel too challenging, okay? I want you to imagine you're gonna do six reps, okay? Because that's what we're gonna do. So imagine you're gonna do six reps and think about which of these exercises do you think you'll be able to do comfortably for six reps. We're just gonna test with one rep because we don't wanna tire ourselves out. So let's have a look at those exercises. So for the first exercise, you're going to use something like a yoga block or I have my box of Kleenex here. Um, and you're going to place it between your hands and that's just going to give you a target for your head. Now the idea with this one is we're not going vertically up and down like we would in a handstand push up. We're going at a little bit of an angle okay, which is going to make this a little less challenging, okay, so it makes it a little easier, we're also not going all the way to the floor, we're just going to go to the height of that Kleenex box, so you're placing your hands either side of that box, okay, knees under your hips, 
You're gonna screw your hands into the floor. Okay, remember packing those shoulders. You're gonna push your butt up in the air. From here, you're just gonna bend your elbows. Okay, keep screwing your hands into the floor so that your elbows stay in. Touch your head, push back up. And just do one or two reps and see how that feels. Now the key points with this one is my elbows, you see from this angle, okay? My elbows are not going out like this. I'm screwing my hands into the floor. My elbows are staying in. And I'm coming back up. So if that felt pretty straightforward, we're gonna try the next exercise. The next variation is your front loaded inverted press. So for this one, same setup. Screw your hands into the floor, push your butt up, step forward, and now as I lower down, my forearms are staying vertical. So my forearms stay vertical as I come down and up. So if it felt like doing those one or two reps, like you could do six reps, you're gonna choose this variation. Otherwise, you're gonna stick with that first variation. Both of these are great for increasing your strength. Um, so choose one of those, and that's what we're gonna work on. Okay, so let's get going with this first superset. We're gonna be doing six reps of the inverted press, superset with 30 seconds of a tuck hollow body hold. So let's do those six reps of the inverted press and then we'll take a look at the hollow body hold. So choosing whichever variation works for you. And then we're gonna go straight into our tucked hollow body hold. So for this one, we're gonna start lying on our back, knees bent. We're gonna think about pulling your ribs down. So I want you to initiate the movement by pulling down with your ribs. Notice that my head does not assist. Okay, this is gonna make it easier. So what I want is this doing the work, my head is just supporting itself. My fingers are going to reach towards my heels and then I'm going to bring my knees, my feet off the floor and I'm going to hold this position for 30 seconds. and rest. You're gonna rest for as long as you need to, and then we're gonna go on to our second round. So again, six reps of the inverted press, press, either the version to the block or Kleenex box, um, or the front loaded version. So let's go, six reps of the inverted press. Great job, so let's move on and do another 30 second hollow body hold.
And now we're moving into our final set. So we're doing three rounds of this. So six reps of the inverted press. Let's go. And let's finish off this superset with our last round of hollow body hold. 30 seconds. So moving on to our second superset. So these two exercises, one of them is working on that shoulder external rotation. So you might have noticed by now, a really important thing with the handstand push-up is that idea of screwing your hands into the floor, packing your shoulders. What a lot of people lack is that external rotation strength. So we're gonna do one exercise to really work on that, and then another exercise to really work on that pushing strength that you need for your handstand. So for this one, you're gonna need a uh, bench or a chair, something that you can place your feet on. So let's see how to set up for that external rotation exercise. So we're gonna sit on the floor, sitting up nice and straight, one knee bent. You're gonna bring your elbow onto your knee, okay? Your shoulder is down back. And we're gonna lower this down and then lifting it back up again. So lowering down and lifting back up. I don't want you to move through any ranges here that are painful. I want you to try and avoid letting like everything kind of roll down. So as we come down, this stays nice and upright. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 reps each side of this shoulder external rotation. You can use, I'm using a dumbbell here. You can use um, a can of beans you can use a frying pan, whatever you have in your house that you can use as a weight, you can use for this exercise. I'm terrible at counting, so I'm gonna say that's 10 reps, and then I'm gonna switch sides. You might find a different side to side and just take note of that. That's very interesting. We're all inherently slightly asymmetrical, so don't worry about it. Again, no idea how many I've done. So we're gonna say that's 10. Put your weight to the side. And we're gonna use this bench to place your feet on. We're gonna do a pike handstand. So I'm gonna have my feet up here. I'm gonna try and have my hands, shoulders, hips, all in one line and push as tall as I can. I'm gonna hold that for 30 seconds. If you need to bend your knees, that's perfectly fine. Focus on pushing as high as you can, as if you're trying to move your butt towards the ceiling.
and relax. So we're gonna do one more time through that circuit. 10 reps of the external rotation. So let's go. We're gonna finish this superset with another 30 seconds of the pike handstand. So we're just going to finish off this workout with a little bit of shaking. So just starting with your arms, shaking that out, shaking out the other one, shaking your shoulders, shaking out your legs, a little bit of bouncing. Okay, it's a great way just after you've done some heavy strength work to kind of get your nervous system a little a little ready for normal life so just chilling that out great job so that was our sample handstand push-up workout if you enjoyed that you're going to really enjoy all the things that are in my handstand push-up program um, not only do you have workouts like this it's going to progressively um, take you towards that handstand push-up, help you build the strength that you need, help you work on the technique that you need. And there's these little assessments all the way through the course um, so that it can give you the best workout that you need at that particular time. So if you have any questions about the program or about this workout, please send me an email, let me know, um, and I'm really happy to help you. But I hope you enjoyed the workout. Thank you.